Mm. Yay, we're on the Woo! road again. Another long road trip. Another Back long road excited. trip. Another three state day. But stick around, let me tell you where we're headed. Thanks for watching. Okay, hey, so welcome back. Thank you for joining us. Today we are finally getting to the goal of this road trip. We are heading to... Orlando! Orlando! Walt the Disney last World! last stretch. The last stretch. And we're going to go through Savannah, which is exciting. So mm -hmm. we'll be showing you some of that. Just going to be fun to finally get to where we're heading. Yes, we're actually going into Celebration. We're going to be staying for a short while in the town that Disney built. Yep. It's not long uh, operated by Disney any longer, but it still but has like the, the thumbprints Disney of Disney everywhere. Backdrop, yeah. living on property. Yeah, just incredible. Hey, so let's show you our map, where we've been so far. We started, oh, let's see if I can, there we go. We started in San Francisco area, went up to Folsom, Sacramento area, down to Las Vegas, went through the Grand Canyon, and uh, and th on Route 66 to Gallup, New Mexico, Amarillo, Texas, saw those buried Cadillacs. Again, if you haven't seen all of this already, we have those videos posted, so check them out. Went over to Waco and visited the silos with Magnolia. And our good friends. And our good friends, Chip and Joanna. That's right. And who else <laughs> Actual you? good friends yeah. uh, that we visited, and, and uh, so that was great to see them. Then we went over to Shreveport and down to New Orleans. Oysters and and Creole food was in the mix there. Beignets. 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 Yeah. Beignets. No. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's great that's, that's the funny new, that's the new. they were bin yucks they shouldn't have been but they were yeah okay then we went up to um where did we go what does that say i'm oh. tired oh we went to laurel mississippi memphis. by way uh, to head to memphis absolutely we saw our good oh, friends ben and Aaron. Already where it's, we've been? it's been almost a month come on memphis then we went over to nashville where we landed for a while with some other great friends so wonderful and then we're we're leaving after a week here in charleston and it's been a wonderful time thank you in the previous video where we showed you charleston you met our good friends phil and kim they're so gracious to us yeah. wonderful host took such good care of us yes so we're we're leaving their house right now and we are heading to orlando so we're going to share some of our drive with you thank you for sticking through we'd appreciate that and keep watching Okay, so I'm not even gonna lie. Today kind of feels like my birthday. Today is like kind of one of those days that you kind of imagine and hope someday I'll get to do that. Today I am leaving Charleston, driving to Savannah, someplace I've never been or seen, at least not since I was a little, 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 little kid. And we're gonna go to Lady and Sons Restaurant by Paula Dean. Yum! <laughs> I love Paula Dean's recipes, especially for the holidays, especially for your big family, you know, get-togethers and and special hoo-hahs. So the fact that I am gonna be in her restaurant, oh my goodness! And then just to see Savannah, so exciting. But then to go on from Savannah to Celebration, and I get to stay in Celebration, it's just dreams come true. I'm gonna be in Orlando. I'm gonna be by the mouse. I could go see fireworks tonight. It's like my birthday. <laughs> Everything is magical today. Everything. All my dreams will come true. And because I'm not driving, I won't be arrested. <laughs> and hopefully I won't either. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, South Carolina. All right. So that so, just happened. So that just happened. Florida, uh, excuse me, South Carolina. Just traffic, got hit. Traffic just got capital. hit from behind. We just got tapped. But, but yeah, yeah, we're okay. Yeah. 
Very Everything's jolted fine, us. Everything's fine. But oh. it's like, are you kidding me? Yeah. South Carolina? Come on. Come on. <laughs> so, yeah, it was one of those intersections where all of a sudden you had to stop. and uh, He couldn't. And he just didn't in time. He was very polite, though. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Southern Farm. I have never everywhere. had a car wreck with a more polite person. <laughs> well, I can't say we've had on this car corner. wrecks. Yeah, on this corner. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch some of our other videos, you saw there was a restaurant, the oldest restaurant on this corner. Yeah. So, yeah, if you qualify yeah. everything by the corner. Very polite. Very Southern polite. Southern gentleman. Very nice. And that I suspect there's no damage. But, of course, he offered to make sure it was all made right. And, and I'm sure everything will be fine. He's probably an axe murderer. We just don't know it. Yeah, we were at a full stop and it barely bumped us. I mean, I it didn't, it even, was, didn't it, even move us. It you could just have felt been the thud. that the car was so packed so tightly that nothing could move. <laughs> all of our luggage insulated everything. Yeah. Okay, it's kind well. kind of like packing a teacup with the, you know. Yeah, there's our first adventure of the morning. Yeah, just oh. another day. On to Savannah. vote that the Ford Flex is the most comfortable vehicle to ride in across country? That you love this road trip business? Yeah? Is that what you think? It's really not bad for you. You're living your best life. Coming into Savannah. All around us. Another very large cable stay bridge, not quite as dramatic as the one in Charleston, but it looks pretty cool. Oh, wow. Here's the Georgia State Line. to Savannah. As a person who makes biscuits, really good biscuits, really buttery flour with your butter biscuits, these are to die for. This is absolutely slap your mama. Slap your mama good. Cheesy, whatever, I don't know what. Well, they've got full on shredded cheese inside. Oh, show the, show the my heavens. Easy goozy deliciousness. I'm sure those are locale. Yeah, so, exactly. Here's the thing I got. Yeah, this is going to take me up to the next level. So there's house seasoning, steak seasoning, rub, butt massage. Really? Yeah. Do do that. Do what and you will with that. Funky chicken seasoning. I don't want my chicken to be funky, so I don't know what that means either. But those look good. Okay, we're in the south. So we've got to have fried okra. What do you think, Glenn? I don't know. Give it a taster. Oh. 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 <laughs> but delicious, I'm sure. No. Yeah. No slimy? The batter is great and there's tons of slimy. So it's not my favorite. Okra's not my thing that much, but I don't dislike it. But the They're going to kick you out of the south if the you don't like okra. Is really yummy. Food has been brought to our table, and again, it's family style. So here's a serving of chicken and gumbo, tomato and cucumber salad with a side, mac and cheese, broccoli casserole, cream corn, and then um, chicken and dumplings. And of course, um, and it's all you can eat. So I'm glad they brought out the smaller portions because that's a lot of food. Uh, give it all a taste. Diane makes some incredible chicken and dumplings, so I'm gonna be curious to see what she thinks. Go ahead and just take a pause and give that a shot. Gotta get the perfect bite. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
Nikki, it's missing a secret ingredient though. <laughs> and we all know what that is. And dessert comes with the meal. So we got a vanilla ooey gooey butter cake to share and a banana pudding because Which seems we're, to be we're the in dessert the south. The south. Yeah, banana pudding is everywhere. Everybody is got And this. Paula Dean's known for her ooey gooey cake. So we've got to give these a try. Take a sample bite here, or a starting bite rather. <laughs> there go the eyebrows. <laughs> My suggestion is to start with this, then work on to the cheesy biscuits, and then the rest of it. <laughs> we went backwards the then. The sad thing is, I am too full to eat all this. Well, that's, that why really that's why we're sharing. That's why we're sharing. Here we are, downtown Savannah. Beautiful downtown square. Can't quit see who's on top of the pedestal. Lots of tourists. Impressive civic building of some sort. What's oh, a church? Christ Church. carriages crisscrossing throughout the community and the hop on and off trolleys which are charming too seem to be everywhere i.e. directly up ahead of us Square. We just have a lot of these sections cut out with giant oak trees and lawn and benches. They're just quite pleasant way to do a, a city. How lovely to have your home down here around the park. Yeah. Look at that at the end with the staircase. It's just beautiful. Are you kidding me? These are gorgeous. Down this little street here. Oh, cobblestone. I love the balcony. Kind of reminds me of New Orleans. Okay, go. But clean. I want to see that house on the end. Spanish moss everywhere. Isn't Spanish, nor is it moms. Keep going. Well, this certainly, this certainly is enough of a taste for us to know we'd like to come back and, yes. you know, make a vacation here and check it out. Yes. Because this is a lovely city. A lovely community. I thought it would be more similar to Charleston. A lot of people told it me is. they were Look similar. It is. Look there's the Charles. There's the bricks. Well. Yeah, brick buildings and historical. But Charleston doesn't have these same sort of squares with the oak trees in the middle of them that I think Savannah's known for. And, and it seems to have a lot more newer buildings in and amongst all this. It does. our sun pass for all the toll roads that we're looking forward to taking up so much. Keep left. In 900 feet, turn left. Florida welcomes us. 
anyone else concerned that when you go to the Welcome Center in Florida, they have hurricane preparedness information? All right, we are at the Welcome Center, and look, there's this dolphin, Clearwater Jazz. Welcome to Florida. And the Welcome Center really is more of a rest stop. You buy the Sun Pass for the toll roads right there in a, um, in a vending machine. But there is a little room here. We're gonna go in and look. This is my free orange, Florida orange juice from the Welcome Center. Yay! Do you feel officially welcomed now? Florida shot. <laughs> Here is the orange juice stand. Welcome to Florida. All right, we have our sun pass, which is our toll thing. We stick up here on the window and we can go through any toll road and it covers us all the way up the Eastern seaboard and over towards Ohio. There's just all these states everywhere that, that this will work on. So that's pretty cool. It's big brother. It's big brother, stealing <laughs> our money. <laughs> so like in Orlando, They're I Exactly. Yeah. In Orlando, I saw a YouTube talking about it that that like if you work and are driving around the city a lot, I mean there's toll roads everywhere in Orlando, and there's not really good surface street alternatives. It's really kind of sad. Uh, or you get caught on the interstates in really intense traffic. And so you could spend around $100 a month, I was told. Now, hopefully, we'll get a job at a house where we don't have to do quite that kind of level of commute. That's our desire. But tolls get pricey, so it's good to have this. Welcome to Florida. We're official. We're official. All right, let's put it on. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Shouldn't confetti fall out of the ceiling? <laughs> there you go. Wow. Welcome. So here's what I'm wondering. As the newest Florida residents, we just got into Florida and it says to use the Beltway, the East Beltway. How is a Beltway different than a freeway, than a highway? An expressway. An expressway. <laughs> what is a Beltway? Anyone? Anyone? Put it in the comments. Help us out. We're just learning. So this is Jacksonville, Florida. We just passed a nuclear power plant right in the middle of the city. Crazy. And then there's this ginormous bridge. This, it looked like sails from far away. Once again, Pocahontas being rescued by John Smith. <laughs> is it a river? Is it a lake? Oh, is that the downtown? Yeah, so the power plant's not anywhere near the downtown. <laughs> We're near the city. Yeah, but, but it's gracious. out, it's out here in the... So keep left onto I-295 South. It's out here in the uh, industrial port area. It's an enormous river. I guess it isn't really a river. It's, it's like port. a bay. It's bay. Yeah. yeah. What a beautiful bridge, though. Heck of a view. So they're used to letting large ships through here. Out to the Atlantic Ocean. We have gone coast to coast. Sea to shining sea. Shall we sing? <laughs> no. Okay. I bet you we get more viewers if we sang. You have a really good voice. I'm just saying. So it's been almost a month that we've been on the road. And the Ford Flex has been a very comfortable vehicle. It has. It has served us well. Yeah. Look at, we have added this super feature though. What's that? Chick-fil-A sauce container <laughs> <laughs> that you put in your vent. Yes. Only their very special customers get that. Yes. 
But seriously, like, what's your favorite thing about the Flex? Uh, it just rides so smooth. It's low to the ground, so you're not having to, like, climb up a flight of stairs to get in. And yet it still can hold everything. So it just, just rides nice. I am not going to lie. I am obsessed with the fact that it not only has heated seats, but uh, air-conditioned seats. Yes. That nice. has become very valuable to me. And these seats are yeah, like <clears throat> big first class passenger seats. They just are super comfy and can tilt and rock and lay down and hold waffles as well as let me sleep. It's just been really comfortable. And I agree, like the ride in this car, it rides like a Cadillac, but carries like a minivan or a Suburban. So that's been awfully handy, as we know, because it's just gotten more and more full. I don't know how that happens. How does that happen? For 70 miles, continue straight. Because we keep going to these cool places to buy stuff. Actually, we haven't bought much stuff. No, just little but trinkety it things. It just sort of... It just happens. It just happens. Like, I didn't buy anything, but somehow it was harder to get my suitcase to close today. So... <laughs> I was just like, whatever. I apparently, I'm not rolling. Quite as tight yeah, I'm not now. rolling as tight as I was at the beginning of the month. Yeah. So hopefully, I can do better after celebration. Any I see it. It's the Buckies. Turn right, <laughs> then turn left to merge onto I-95 we're so South. We're obsessed with Buckies. Buckies, we're coming. <laughs> It just so happens that we actually need gas, so it's okay. But this is the newest one we think that uh, different bloggers introduced us to as they came up from Orlando to come check it out. Must see Bucky's. I am completely obsessed. Okay, all four sides of the Bucky's has this many t pumps. It's just nuts. Swaffles. Are you going to drive? Is it your time to drive? Don't start the engine while Daddy's putting gas in. That'd be dangerous. Waffles. Come here. Oh, what do you think? Okay. Do you want to get to Orlando? Yeah, me too. Hey, dear. How's my girl? How's Say, my girl? Daddy, I want to go to Orlando. I want to be a celebration doggy. <laughs> yes, we're going to be there soon enough. Yes, we are. We have finally arrived. We are here. We're here. After a month of driving. Orlando, Florida. Woo! Changing our whole life. Big moving, old road trip. Yeah, moving from Half Moon Bay to Orlando. You have followed us on our road trip, I Here hope. If not, please go back and watch the videos. We started in the Folsom or the San Francisco area. Over to Nashville. Stayed there for a while with some great friends. Over to Charleston. Stayed there for a while with some more great friends. We have some good friends. Good we friends. really do. And then we came down through Savannah and we're here in Orlando. Woohoo! Woo we are so excited and uh, we're about ready to start our new life. Now we'll be here and we're going to do some Disney content and Florida content and just uh, kind of show you life. Show here. you life, the new life. Yeah. We're rediscovering and reimagining life. Absolutely. So, again, thank you for going on this journey with us. We sure appreciate it. Your thoughts, your prayers, your comments, your likes and subscribes, all of that would mean so Hit much to us. Hit the notifications so you don't miss a thing because there's going to be some fun stuff coming up this Absolutely month. Absolutely there will be. So be good to others. Bye-bye.